Dhaka has a lot to offer, but one of the highlights is the variety of exotic Bangladeshi foods. In this video, my expert diary will explore all sorts of dishes from street food vendors to fancy restaurants. Hmm? How much is the roti? Yes, I know, that's why I want to try it. Traditional breakfast. Yeah, traditional breakfast. Yes. Very good. Vegetables. Too. Okay. But it's so delicious. Yeah, you have to. Um, good food, delicious. This is good, yes. It's very interesting to see that people eat with hands. Yeah. So, yeah, very nice to have here as my house. Mm. And um, yeah, we, we have dinner. I forgot the name already. So we have fish, fish curry. Fish curry. Fish curry. Mm. Uh, what is this? <coughs> it is a, in Bangla. It's called bora. 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 And bora is basically dough. Yes. Dough. Okay. Uh, yeah. Very. Very delicious. And I think the most interesting is that your servant cooked everything. Mm. You know? So it's kind of like a, a housekeeper. Mm, yeah. mm. A male housekeeper mm. who cooks all his food and cleans the house and does everything. Which is really Actually, this cook is made by my sister. Oh, your sister cooked it? Okay. Okay, he just served it. He doesn't cook. Mm. I was looking for some chicken. Well, it's uh, a little bit too fatty. So I got some local desserts. I don't really know what it is, uh, but I'm going to try. Uh, but the most annoying thing is in the city that everybody is watching you. When you eat, yeah, you see, these guys are watching because, like, they are no foreigners here. So it is a little annoying. You can't really enjoy your meal by yourself. That's, that's probably the best food I've had so far in Bangladesh. The texture is very good, it's uh, like nutty um, and not too sweet. It's a perfect, perfect flavor for me and it's like, it's not so cheap for Bangladesh, it's one US dollar, which is uh, more than average when you consider you can get a roti for 10 cents or a chicken leg for 50 cents. So it's one dollar is a lot for a little bit of dessert. So this is a local snack? Yeah, only for traditional. Uh, it's our traditional food, it's not Bengali food. Oh, what do you mean traditional? Like uh, Dhaka food? No. Yeah? Okay, what? we are not Bengali, but we are indigenous people of Bangladesh, minority people. Oh, you are uh, uh, indigenous people? Yeah. Oh, this is only for the indigenous people? Yeah, this is okay. homemade food. Wow, it looks very delicious. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the apple inside. Is the apple inside? Mm. Mm. Banana, yeah. Yeah, it, it tastes interesting. It's it's good. Wow. So here we have but banana. Bananas is for uh, she she will make some uh, homemade cake with that. Mm -hmm. This is like local food. This is not Indian food. This is like. Uh, no, not Indian food. You're crying because of the... Uh, no, I washed my... You're sweating. You know. I washed my you washed, face. You washed yeah. your face, I see. This is local food. This is not food from uh, Bangladesh. This is food from your hometown, uh, like traditional rice. Uh, it's it's kituri. Kituri? Yeah, kituri. Oh, kituri. It's a mix of uh, dal, beans, anything. And that's pork. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm going to take it. Are you Muslim? No. No? Are you Buddhist? What is this? Ah, I don't know what it's called in English. Some beans, kind of some beans, but... Uh, Sweet. Yeah, I don't know what uh -huh. it's called. Mmm. So delicious. Mix it up, mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up. It's super hot. It's also alcohol, but this looks new. Yeah. But you're Muslim, you don't drink alcohol. A bit, a bit, sometimes. A bit. Very little. Occasionally. Occasionally. Chicken rice for $4. Mm. 
it's no chicken. So expensive for Bangladesh. Well, but at least the roti looks good. And malls are always expensive. That is our dessert. Looks like some dried thing. And so here selling honey on the street. Wow. Very delicious. So it's my last day here in uh, Bangladesh. Unfortunately, because I like it. Now I'm gonna get some food. The thing I miss most about Bangladesh, besides the people, is the food. Do you have roti? Do you have roti here? Puri, 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 puri. Roti? Puri, puri, puri. Puri, puri. Puri, puri. Puri, puri. Puri, puri. I think I cannot eat chicken because I have diarrhea. Need some more. How much is the chicken? How much? Hmm? Bola. Bola. What is it? 100? 200? Ah, he doesn't speak English. I think they must be cheap. So, I packed my bag. And I'm leaving to the airport now, unfortunately. So fast. Uh, there are many things I didn't see here in Bangladesh. Like the cold trains and the beautiful nature. I already called my Uber driver. On the other hand, I wasn't happy to leave because uh, it's, yeah, it's dirty and I got sick. And the people are very friendly but also can be annoying because they give you too much attention. So uh, I asked my uh, host about him and he said he only earns $20 a month. That's crazy little, $20 a month. But yeah, he works only half days. Um, and I appreciate that he didn't steal my 500 US dollar, which I had in my bag. Uh, because I somehow forget to lock my luggage when I go out. So, <clears throat> so nothing was stolen. Um, yeah, and now I'm waiting for my Uber. I just go to the intersection where he can pick me up. In the coffee, coffee shop, the rickshaw. Well, those rickshaws I don't go to the airport. Everybody's staring. People are somewhat shy when I put the camera on them. So I hope the taxi is coming soon. Crazy. So now everybody's coming here. I'm the attraction of the city. <laughs> is this Uber? Uh, yeah, my Uber is coming now. Yeah, I already called him. I, he should be here any second. So my Uber driver is almost here. In three minutes. Oh my God! I think the taxi is coming over there. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, bye bye. So, getting in the taxi. Hello. Bangladesh. As you could see, my expat diary had a great time trying all kinds of Bangladeshi dishes. Nonetheless, he would also like to warn you because he got the worst diarrhea of his life after eating some street food. So unfortunately that's already it from Bangladesh. I really enjoyed my time. The people were so nice, the food was so delicious and I really want to come back. Even though I had a little problem after my uh, couch surfing host Jihad introduced me to some street food, uh, it already didn't look good and I wanted, didn't want to eat it, but he insisted and said you have to try it, otherwise you couldn't say you would try Bangladesh food. And as I expected, I got really sick the next day. So as we didn't have a normal toilet at the apartment, I learned how to really do squat shitting. And yeah, that's uh, a lesson I learned from Bangladesh. Don't eat street food and uh, practice squatting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to My Expat Diary and support this channel.